Think about all the innovations that we enjoy today. The smartphones, the self-driving cars, the electrical cars. We all enjoy them because of the inventive entrepreneurs. They are the ones that have the ideas and have the courage to pursue those ideas to make them available for all of us. Before I became a patent and trademark attorney, I started my early career being an engineer and an entrepreneur, designed and, and launched new products, started a business. Anybody can have ideas. It takes an inventive entrepreneur to take that idea and run with it and take on all the challenges that come with that. I am obsessed, if you want, about the inventive entrepreneur because I was one. I am mindful of the fact that what we have today, the driving economy, is not possible without them. One thing I love about my job is that I have the opportunity to teach the inventive entrepreneur about the IP world, patents, trademarks, trade secrets, copyrights, and so on. When I meet with a new client, that's where I start. How do you navigate the patenting process, the trademark registration process? What is likelihood of confusion when it comes to trademarks and how you can avoid that? What is a blocking patent? Discussing the claim scope in a patent. You are an inventive entrepreneur. You came up with a great idea. You are thinking about uh, making a new product, embodying that idea, and you want to launch it in the marketplace. All of this when you are faced with a very limited budget. Okay, let's protect my invention or let's spend the money on marketing or some other things that I need on product design and manufacturing. So what do you do? One way to solve this limited budget challenge is to use a flat fee system that will give the entrepreneur the predictability that comes with the expenses related to protecting that IP so others cannot copy that new product once it's launched in the marketplace. We not only speak their language, but we can translate their ideas into effective patent applications. One of the things that I love in my work is to teach the examiners at the patent office what the inventions are about and why they deserve a patent. If you think about it, the ordinary observer, when looks at a rock, right, will, will see just that, a rock. But an artist will look at the same rock and will see the beautiful sculpture that lies inside that rock. It's a similar challenge when we deal with the patent office at the USPTO. We need to see that beautiful sculpture inside the rock. The examiner may not see it sometimes, but we need to see that beautiful sculpture. We need to see that beautiful inventive concept, that spark of genius that makes that an invention and therefore why it deserves to be patented by the patent office.